let's have another practical question a limited acquired a machine for 5 years lease the lease installment of 26380 is given you the installments amount but he has not given you the value of the asset payable in advance that is also important that you are making payment in advance beginning of the year the implicit rate is 10% and depreciation is straight line and no residual value so we need to work it out first of all lease liability now the first payment you made on 1st january 2019 26380 and the remaining four payments 26380 by the factor of 4 years factor although the lease is 5 years but the factor will be used for 4 years because one paid already so 26380 plus 83620 our total lease liabilities are 110 and this is going to be our right of use assets so sometime asset use value is given and sometime we need to work it out right of use since there is no direct cost or incentives therefore the value of right of use asset is 110000 and depreciation per annum will be 110 divided by 5 22000 amortization schedule again these these columns are important so which one should be number 1 2 3 4 5 6 because that is will decide how to report in the income statement and balance sheet now look here our liability uh, lease are 110 and we are making a payment in advance so that is our liability reduces that is the balance so interest will be on this figure 10% of this figure and now our total liability comes to this now it becomes the opening balance again we make a payment and this is a balancing figure of liability and again interest on it and so on we just take it 21 Then twenty-two and same again. You will see the interest here. In case of two uh, thousand, uh, it is again a round figure we have taken. So again, total payment you made twenty-six three eighty by five comes to one thirty-one nine hundred, and the lease assets you acquired four hundred and ten. So the balance is the interest you paid, and if you take two things together, twenty-one thousand nine hundred plus one ten. is comes to your lease payments and you paid off now let's see how it will be recorded in income statement and balance sheet again less is book only depreciation 22000 and now i'm preparing two years 19 and 20 you can prepare all five years but let's have first two year so depreciation expense will remain the same for both year 22000 22000 but the finance charge is going to be different why because you are pay, making payment of your liability so your liability reducing that's why your interest rate uh, interest amount is also reducing in the balance sheet property plant and equipment 110 and first year depreciation is 22 accumulated so second year you will have two years 22 plus 22 44 and carrying amount is 88 and 66 non current liabilities and the current liability current life since you are going to pay in the beginning of the year that's why the total installment amount paid the amount of installment that is 26380 is your current and the balance is your long term similarly in 2020 the current is going to be the same and the balance is your long term so it's not something which is very difficult but make sure these columns which we prepare for amortization schedule are important from there you can work it out what is current and what is non current total will remain the same but how to report it that which one is goes to the current liability and which is going to be the current uh, long term liability so that is how the basic requirement of the questions that how we report in income statement and the balance sheet these are the extract again i am talking about and plus please don't forget we are re recording 2019 it should be properly name of the company and the period that is 31st december 2019 31 so these are the extract not the actual balance sheet only the lease assets or lease liabilities 
how they will be reported in the main balance sheet and main income statement. So these are just figures for the sake of balance sheet and income statement. Thank you very much.